a freaking Sunday and your girl is live right now. Little a little weekend blessing for you because I also didn't go on Friday because this is my first Thanksgiving pregnant and <laughs> holy crap did eating all of that Thanksgiving food hit your girl a little hard. <laughs> Baby boy had enough food and he was like, mother. <laughs> but you know, what can I do? I don't know. <laughs> How are you guys today? How are all my babies? We got Negan, Athena, Tori, Bliss, Irish Mama Moon, Greggy Turtle, Bugaboo, Alice, Bells, the Witches, How, <laughs> Mini Mad, Shay Sierra, Shield, she Shield Maiden. I don't know why my eye was blinking out. I know your name. It's just <laughs> Black and Molly, As Smith. Air A. Smith, Llama Parties, Innocent! <laughs> oh my goodness, the Cannibalizer. Hello, first time chatter. How are you today? Liz, thank you so much for that six months resub on a four month streak. Hey, way to go, honey. You got that streak of rolling, sweetheart. <laughs> Mikey Mike, Samantha Pickaxe, Bob Bambi. I hope you guys are all doing good today. But, um, Today, this weekend, we're going to start off with doing a little bit of Not So Berry again because I'm hooked on this challenge. It's so calming and relaxing and it's a lot of fun, honestly. So let me go ahead and turn camera around for those of you watching on Twitch right now. Ah, Athena, thank you so much for gifting us up to Marky. Thank you, honey. Athena, so cute, so sweet. But as we got here, we have our beautiful Minth, who it looks like I think when we last left off, she had just come home from work. So she's still in her scientist drab. But I think she's got quite a bit of time to work. Because like I said, I think she just got home. So I'm going to have her change. Oh, and I totally remember what we were working on the last time now, too. We were working on... <laughs> I started watching you on TikTok last year with the 100 Ghost Challenge, and I can't believe it's been that long. You are the sweetest, and you deserve this. Thank you, A. Smith. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, Mint. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is Katrina Caliente doing right here? Is she drunk at her house? Oh, my God. <laughs> I still, I gotta compose myself. Why is our daughter dancing in her bikini? Oh, it's because we have that stupid pool. Dang it, I hate having a pool because then my Sims are always in their freaking swimwear run, running around. I wish they would change out of that so much. I love it here, this is my safe place. Ugh. Gosh darn it. What, what am I supposed to be doing right now? Okay, where are we at progress-wise? Um, we're on a level 5 scientist career. I think the next time we go to work, we should get promotion. And we have to get two more breakthroughs before we go into work in 10 hours. Holy guacamole, thank you so much. Love you. Oh, I needed that Gatorade. Good God. I've... Ah! Well, who needed it? <laughs> Oh, God. Um, our child is a C student, but she'll be a B student soon, looks like. And here's what I mean about having pools in The Sims. They're always in the freaking pool. Wait, Minth has a pool now? Yeah, Minth wanted a pool for her things. We're trying to get her whims up. Don't miss significant other for six hours. I don't want to do this one. Oh, our mother and daughter are going to play house together. Oh, it's so cute. I love that. That's adorable. I don't know. I've my mom never played dolls with me, but I don't know as a kid if I would have wanted my mom to play dolls with me. I also had a sister who played dolls with me, so maybe I don't know. Guacamole is gifted a sub to Elaine. Elaine, enjoy your gifted sub from Guacamole. And thank you so much. And please, if you see me, I can't talk still. If you received a gifted sub, please say a big old thank you, thank you, thank you to them because they deserve it. Their generosity, honestly, it's what keeps this channel going. <laughs> How much are pools? God, I don't know. This was like a, a good chunk of money. I bet we spent $1,000 on just this alone. Like, easily. What's the daughter's name again? The daughter's name is Rosalie. 
Yeah, Rosalie Berry. And she's going to be our next generation. So when we get to work on her. And you can clean up your mess. Because there ain't no way Mama's going to spend her time doing that. Um, Mom, she left. You don't have to play dolls anymore. I need you to have breakthroughs. So let's go take some thoughtful showers until you have enough breakthroughs. And I know there's other ways to have breakthroughs. I just always forget what they are. Oh my god. <laughs> Vixen! Thank you so much for the Prime sub for two months in a row. That is a reminder for anybody that has Amazon Prime, especially in this holiday season when most people seem to get Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you can hook that straight up to Twitch and you can sub on Twitch for free every month. You just have to renew that sub, which is just resubbing to a different channel or putting it towards a new one. But Amazon Prime gives you a free sub. You just have to hook your account up to Twitch. Super easy. I think all the mods agree that you didn't make, you didn't just make a stream, you made a community, and I would dare to go even further and say a family. And all of this may have been possible because of us, but it was also because, possible because of you. Thank you, witches! <laughs> I know. I know you can't have one without the other, like, this channel couldn't have been started if I didn't start it, but I also couldn't have kept going if it wasn't for you guys being here, so it's a big old frickin' circle, okay? Kitsu, thank you so much for gifting us up to Kennedy, to Cookie Monster, to Mitsu, to Avga, Avaga, Avaga, and to M Hope. Thank you so much, Kitsu. If you received a gift, it's a place tell them thank you. Because we are polite here and we use our manners and say please and thank you, and you're the best. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know, Negan, I think Kitsun is really trying to take your place as number one, um, as number one gifter. I know there are, uh, there's a down below the video, I have the leader charts that you guys can look up whenever you want, but I think Kitsun's trying. I think they're going to take your place eventually, Negan. Um, my PC was built by my husband, so I don't have a good answer as to what my PC build is because it's a mix of a bunch of pieces. Like, it's a Corsair a keyboard, a LG monitor, and two Acer ones on the side. The middle monitor is LG. Two on the sides are Acer's. Uh, the box itself is a Corsair. I have a GeForce RTX capture card. And a lot of other pieces from different brands, so but I don't have a good thing. I still need to come up with that list for you guys. No, 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 stop! What are you doing? Don't destroy it now! I hate how when you destroy it, it turns into just this, though. Because then I don't see it. Okay, Dad's gonna go repair that. Mom, you didn't have any breakthroughs, so I need you to keep taking some thoughtful showers in your yellow shower gown. Because I guess that's what she always wears in the shower. And why not? They are definitely climbing the ladder. But my only response is bet. <laughs> and Athena is working dutifully on her layers. <laughs> yes, it is definitely a great community. Thank you, Nikki. Oh, my gosh. And Samantha and Bliss. Thank you all. Oh my gosh. My sims just went into labor. <gasps> Ooh, and she's having a girl. Yay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, baby girl, you have done your homework, so you are good. Mom is still doing whatever the heck she needs to to get some breakthroughs. Wait, she's not even... Did I just say take a regular shower? Take a thoughtful shower? What is this? Why are you not having any breakthroughs? Oh, great. You broke the shower. Well, way to go. Now you can spend some time repairing it. Disappointing, Minth. Disappointing. Okay, now you can be destructive. <laughs> Athena gives Negan the go-ahead. She's like, look, I worked hard on this. Cut it out. Is there anything really that... Oh, she's playing with her little triceratops. Oh, don't yell at it. What are you doing? No, no, no. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh my god, this is the part of my pregnancy too where I have to really tighten up my sphincter. <laughs> because now when I sneeze, if I don't, I feel like 
there's a chance of a little bit escaping me. So now when I sneeze, I have to prepare my body. <laughs> so it's the weirdest thing and I've never had this problem, but now as a pregnant woman who is almost in, um, I'm almost 20 weeks pregnant. I'll be 20 weeks on Wednesday. So I'm almost halfway through my freaking pregnancy, guys. Can you believe that? Like months ago, I went from wishing and praying and hoping I was pregnant to now I am freaking almost halfway through my pregnancy, potentially sooner if baby boy comes sooner. But still, that's just so exciting to me. Negan, thank you so much for the car seat fund. And yes, I know it was you because it said your name when you popped up, which I still can't believe your freaking name is Dylan. For anybody that doesn't know that, Negan's name is not really Negan. It's a lie. We've all been told a lie. It's Dylan, which I know I'm allowed to say because he said it in chat before and people blew up about it, but that was months ago. And I just have to refresh that in our minds every now and then. Negan's name is not Negan. <laughs> The cake is all a lie. <laughs> oh my god. Wait till after the baby and you'll be crossing your legs every time you sneeze and laugh. No! <laughs> you sneeze hard enough, your baby is gonna pop out. No, they're still, they still need to cook. Lots, lots. <laughs> Heads up, it doesn't end after pregnancy. No! <laughs> after is worse. No! Don't tell me that. I feel like my whole life is a lie now. <laughs> Wait out, Negan. <laughs> You sit on the throne of lies. <laughs> Negan, every time I see or hear your name, I am remembered of Jay. <laughs> I learned that from TikTok. I know. The worst part of the walking dead. <laughs> I was flabbergasted. <laughs> I love how we all get so comfortable with each other. It's like, oh, God, I need to spray for bugs. Our tree is nasty. And I think this is the money tree. So I need to keep that up. Um, a harvest that but I love like when you know somebody by their username so much like for you guys You guys know me as hey -ish Mandy. My name's not Mandy. It's Amanda. I don't know why I named myself Mandy Because I don't let anybody call me Mandy <laughs> in real life <laughs> It's only my gaming name and so when people are like your name's not actually Mandy. I'm like no, it's Amanda. Thank you <laughs> Please call me that <laughs> You'll be peeing yourself for the rest of your life. Now! Same I saw from TikTok. Megan. <laughs> it's crazy how different each one is. Oh my gosh. When is my little cow plant going to grow up? Look at how cute he is. Oh, Minty Fresh. What's up, baby? But like, look at how cute my little cow plant is. He's a cute little babaroo and I love him. But I want him to grow up soon. Everyone has problems with saying my real name. I just have people call me Ness. Oh no. That's the worst part too, is when like people can't say your name or pronounce your name properly. So yeah, that is also sucks. I apologize for that. Why why won't I have hiccups now? Why won't she have any breakthroughs? How how else can I have breakthroughs? Um for example, while well, gardening, reading, or performing experiments. Oh, I gotta show you guys her lab. Her lab also. I don't know if you guys saw this or not. But when I came back, I went to go see if there's anything I could do um, to the house while I was away. And she has a freaking test tube in her inventory. So I added her test tube to her lab as well. Along with that, we've got her two experiments that she's done so far. And our completed elementals table i'm so freaking proud about that one but also to the outside of the house i went ahead and if you guys have noticed um i added some vegetation i moved the garden off to the side i added a little bit of growth um, but i added some landscaping because it was so plain and i hated it so i added a tree and some more landscaping over here nothing too serious because i suck at doing all this but i try to do a little bit more um, I did a couple trees back here with some bushes and grasses and behind the swing set we have a couple more trees and bushes and oh a metal I'm gonna claim that so yeah that's what true one thank you so much for the follow sweetheart my real name is Nissa 
Is it Nissa? Nissia? Nissia? Oh gosh, without- I know! We just talked about how you said your name is hard to pronounce, but I don't know how to pronounce it. But once I do know how to pronounce it, I promise you I can continue to pronounce it. <laughs> well, y'all, I gotta admit my name isn't Athena either. I know! Athena's name is Ariel! <laughs> <laughs> All of you people that fool me with their usernames and make me like believe and I think I know who you are and then I learn I don't actually know who you are is disappointing to me. Like how can you guys continue to lie to me like this? <laughs> Nissa? I got it right the first time? Yeah! <laughs> well I said by Niss. Like, so I ignored the Y and made it an I sound in my head, but yeah. My name is Taija. Oh, God. And I'm not Turtle. A <laughs> quirky turtle. I would have never guessed your name wasn't actually Turtle. What? You guys, you're all lying to me out here. <laughs> Our lives are full of lies. <laughs> it's a nickname I have thought. With some, I <laughs> with some friends. Oh my gosh, Athena's name is Ariel. <laughs> I thought it was Nemo. <laughs> I love it. I love how you guys are all. I promise, my name is Alyssa. <laughs> I thought it was Nemo. <laughs> how did you say that right? Oh my gosh. Who else's name? Well, okay, okay, Bliss. I used to be a teacher, and I had some weird names. And so, for me, I have to think of ethnic kind of a names, and the J usually sounds like a Z. So, I don't know. It was a good guess, but I'm glad I got it right, because I'm glad I make somebody happy when I say their names right. Also, Silver Shamrock, thank you so much for the eight months resub, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> My real name is Jeanne. Jeanne? I want to say by looking at your name, I'm not sure. <laughs> Tori, I would have never guessed your real name is Victoria. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Amanda, but Squires is my last name. Another Amanda! <laughs> I love finding my fellow Amandas out in the wild. It makes me happy. <laughs> And nobody names their babies Amanda nowadays. I haven't met a young Amanda in my life. I've only met Amandas my age or older. Where are all the baby Amandas? You guys out there have to make me a pact to freaking name your babies Amanda. Because I don't hear any baby Amandas. And I don't know why. It's a beautiful name. I love my name. I think my name is gorgeous. And I love the meaning of my name means lovable or worthy of love. How would you not want to name your child that? I am an Amanda, but I am in my 30s. That's what I'm talking about. There are no baby Amandas out there and it pisses me off. <laughs> where are the baby Amandas? It's getting to the point where I think I'm going to have to name my future daughter Amanda Jr. Just because I need another Amanda out there. <laughs> the boos are strong. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'd love for you to uh, <laughs> pronounce my last name. Oh God. Just like my name, Jessica. What's an Amanda? No. I need more Amanda's. Okay, so we have to get on track for a promotion. Then I'll harvest a bunch of crystals so we can make some more money. Okay, so browse a web on computer. Upgrade the sim ray to mind control? <gasps> yes, upgrade the sim ray for mind control purposes. Let's start with that. Upgrade sim ray to mind control clean. I can mind control our daughter to go clean. <laughs> My daughter's dad left me for an Amanda, but the name's cute. No! <laughs> We're not bad, I swear. <laughs> there's a bad, there's a few of us that are bad out there, but they're not all of us. For the longest I grew up with an Amanda, I need a baby Amanda. I need a baby Amanda. 
like I said, everybody that has the name Amanda is a freaking adult now. <laughs> I use Amanda for my Starbies order because that's what they hear. Anyways, my name is Miranda. Nice. Yeah, when people like didn't remember my name, I always get called um, Miranda. I would get called Andrea, Amber. Like if people thought they remembered my name, but like didn't, those were the names that people would call me. They call me Miranda, they call me Amber, and they call me Andrea. I'm like, that's not my name. My name is Amanda, thank you. <laughs> I'm starting Gen 3 on my challenge. I had gotten halfway through Gen 8 and then I lost everything. Oh no, no. Oh. oh, okay. I think we upgraded the sim ray. Perfect. My control sim sim to clean. Oh, Laura Bimbet, you are being a test subject for my mind control laser. Also, I'm sorry. I keep freaking rubbing my nose. My nose has been so runny today. It's not even funny. Who's Amanda? I don't even know an Amanda. Oh, love voice. <laughs> Go clean the house, Lorette. Thank you. Sarah, thank you so much. That's really nice. Have the ninth breakthrough. I'm trying. Analyze a plant sample with a microscope. Do I have one? I do. Let's go do it. Don't laugh evilly like that. Oh, look, she's being mind controlled. You can see the little thingies above her head. Nobody is safe lying in our person. <laughs> oh my God. I want to see a baby named Ethel or Mabel. I'm convinced they just spawn in as old ladies. It's so cute though. I mean, to be fair. Oh my God, we got the ninth breakthrough. Oh, thank heavens. Okay. Drinker give away a snake oil serum. Mind control coworkers to change outfits. Oh my God, it's letting us use the Simbray. Oh my gosh. No, the mind control thing that comes with the... um. No, mind control with the sim rate comes with change into your sleepwear. It comes with the get to work expansion pack. That is not a mod. It is a it's it's the get to work expansion pack. So as long as you have that and you are in the scientist career, and once you make the sim um the the uh the sim ray, your sim can use it. You just have to keep upgrading it. So you need to be in the science career to be able to do this. So we just mind controlled him to go ahead and change his clothes. So we'll see if he actually does that. <laughs> Stop evil laughing. People are going to think you're evil. Oh my God. You're well, you have very modest PJs actually. That's kind of boring. I thought you'd have better stuff, but fine. Oh, and we need to browse the web on the computer. Oh, where's the browse the web option? Something boring, but no, not browse art. Web, browse the web. <laughs> Holy crap, Kitsune. Kitsune has just, <laughs> has just gifted a sub to Amanda Danny Fox, another Amanda out there, created by Kells. Uh, Cassandra, Bot Bambi, Belle Grace, Casserole, The Endless Fall, Dabney Mallory, Kale, Ka Kalosaurus, and Jillification. Thank you so much, Kitsu, for gifting 10 subs out to the community. If you received a gifted sub, once again, please make sure to use your manners and say thank you for that gifted sub because they deserve it because they're a sweetie pie and they are coming for Negan's throat. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Kitsu, thank you. Also, Little Mix has redeemed a mod poll. Holy moly, all the gifted subs. I know. And then all of Athena's hard work has just been ruined. She is truly coming for Negan or the man of lies. Okay, chat with the invention bot. Chat with her over. And my control of coworker to change their outfits again. Okay. Okay, so we need to tell somebody else to change their outfit. Leah, I hate to do this to you, 
but it's nothing personal. It's just, you know, what I have to do for work. So you will also, let's put you in your swimwear after I talk with the robot for a little bit. Yes, the pa the where I'm at is the science career and it comes with the packet to work. <laughs> Athena working hard on all of her layers again. <laughs> Ooh, Bells is a multilingual queen over here. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got another cool picture. Oh, we got Rhapsody in blue. Take a look at it. It's super cute. These are actually really cool. They're like cool modern art, but you know, nasty. My Thanksgiving was good. I ate a little too much and baby boy was not happy about it. I learned a tragic fate. I'm a little upset at my baby boy. Shh, you didn't hear that. I'm a little upset at my baby boy. So I, like I said, I am 19 weeks pregnant, gonna be 20 weeks on Wednesday. I love deviled eggs. The only time I get deviled eggs is Thanksgiving. You know what this boy hates? Deviled eggs. I love the taste of them going down. I love them. I think they are delicious. I had deviled eggs two days. I had one for the first Thanksgiving party we went to and one at the second Thanksgiving party we went to. Oh, Leah, thank you. I got a terrible, terrible stomach ache after, after I did that. I was ticked. Uh-oh, you did not just take that table from me. Oh, excuse me, we're gonna have to fix that. I was about to do this, so excuse me. I need to make that. But yeah, I, mm, I did not vomit. I did not, I did not, you know, throw up after I ate them and stuff like that, but, and yes, I am doing the not so berry challenge, but I felt terrible. I felt so bad. I had the worst stomach ache and I was so upset because I went to another, I had three Thanksgiving parties for a family. Um, I had one for dinner that we hosted, a dinner right after that, and then a party the next day for dinner as well. And at that last party, they had deviled eggs too. And you know how bad I wanted to eat them? Oh my God. I wanted to eat those deviled eggs so bad, but I knew, I knew that I'd be regretting it for the rest of the night. And I didn't want to do it, but I was ticked off. Oh, you broke it. Why? You just set us back. I'll be 20 weeks with the boy next week. I feel the same about it too. Oh yeah, I'll be 20 weeks on Wednesday. Oh my God, honey. Oh, I know it's, I love being pregnant. Don't get me wrong. I had a very easy pregnancy. Baby boy has been so nice to me. I didn't have any morning sickness. I didn't throw up once. The entire time I've been pregnant, I have been great. The deviled eggs thing is a kick in the stomach though and I will not forgive him for this. <laughs> Mod pull incoming. There are a few foods I can't eat anymore still because after my pregnancy, certain foods just make me feel so sick. No. Um. No, the material from your own child. <laughs> but no, I know, it sucks. I'm so upset about that. I love the Knott's Berry Challenge. It's a lot of fun. I absolutely love the Knott's Berry. How you feel, baby? Move yet, Mandy? No. I'll be 20 weeks on Wednesday, and I have not noticed him kicking yet. But, you know, I'm also plus size. And they say that's pretty common if you're a plus size individual that you don't feel your baby kick as soon. Um, so yeah. I sadly I don't I haven't felt him yet. It makes me very nervous that I haven't felt him yet. But at the same time, I have to remind myself that it's pretty normal. Um, it wants me to mind control another coworker to change their outfit so but yeah it makes me very nervous that i have not felt him kick yet but i know i will eventually but it makes me super scared because i just want to know 
that he's okay and that he's just chilling in there, but I have not felt him. And it makes me sad, it makes me scared. Like, I cannot tell you how excited I am looking forward to um, the ultra. I'm having the 20 week ultrasound, which is the anatomy scan, I believe, where they look all over him and make sure he's got, you know, all his fingers and toes and arms and legs and <laughs> nose and, you know, all of those things <laughs> and lungs to make sure everything's developing nicely. But it makes me so sad because I just want to feel him so I know he's okay and I can't feel him. <laughs> and so I'm like, am I even pregnant? Is he alive in there? Is he okay? Is there something I can do for him? So like, I don't know, it's very nerve wracking for me because I don't know what he's doing in there. And so I constantly, I'm not constantly worried. Actually, I can't say I'm constantly worried, but I do worry for him very often. I'm like, are you good in there? I don't really feel you yet, but. <laughs> Ooh, keep that to um uh, honestly um at my 15 weeks ultrasound my the ultrasound technician said that my placenta was towards the back so she said that would be good because it wasn't hinder me from feeling him kick so i don't know <clears throat> it will happen soon the first kicks are so subtle i know i there was one time i thought that I maybe felt him kick, but it was like a dum 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 dum. Like it was like four sporadic like <laughs> dum 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 dums up against my stomach. And I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure if that was just like a muscle twinge or if that was him. I had not felt it since though. But yeah, I, I was curious. Oh gosh, we did everything we needed for a promotion. So we'll stop talking to this chick. We're gonna here and get some crystals to sell. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what kicking even feels like, so I don't even know what to look like. Some people say, it's a flutter. It's a heartbeat. Sorry, that was Max real quick. He wanted me to look at something. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsies. Let me fix this again. But my apologies. Max had asked me a question, so he asked if I could. Ah! What button did I just hit? Oh, I just hit a weird button. But no, Max asked me to mute real quick so he could ask me something. So I apologize that I had to do that real quick. <laughs> um, let me see. I got to go back up and look at the comments, though. Um, baby hiccups are the best. They sometimes feel like muscle spasms. So maybe I did feel him kick at one point, but I have not felt that same feeling since so i don't know who hurt you people with the stuffing with <laughs> um uh, something else you can feel when the baby have hiccups my daughter always has hiccups aw i've had four babies and i felt them all at way different times it will happen try to lay there on your back and just hold your hands on your belly oh my gosh sorry athena <laughs> my bad it hurts if the baby does it hard and long enough. Um, my son will get hiccups every day. Goodness. You're eating Hawaiian rolls? Lucky, I'm jealous. Huh. 
Oh, I forgot my little sim self was a writer, and the first book she wrote was called Mandy and Spoopy. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, my goodness. Okay. But yeah, so maybe I did. Well, the it was kind of cute if it was him kicking me. I'm still not certain if it was. Um, cause it was like a dum 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 dum. It felt like a muscle spasm in my stomach, but it would have been right where he kind of was. Not that I really know where he's at in me either right now, but I know he's like down there. So, um, I was reading him a book <laughs> and so it was really sweet to me. If it was him, I'm still not 100%. This is my first pregnancy. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but if it was, it was when I was reading him, um, a book to bed. So. Because I've been doing that lately. I've been trying to read to him a couple times a night. Um, I don't have many books yet, though. So I've been <laughs> repeating some books until I can get um, a couple more for him. So I can read to him still. But yeah. I know I'll go from hoping for kicks to wishing they'd stop. I completely have a feeling that'll happen, too. Because I have a feeling he'll kick me, like, right in the ribs at some point, And I'll be like... <laughs> like, why would you do this to me? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, no, this is not Strangerville. This is the Get to Work expansion pack in the scientist career. So right now, she, my scientist sim is at work. And she is getting a few, th a few things done at work. Okay, Ashley, thank you so much for that follow, honey. And I'm like starting to freak out now because I know they say you're not supposed to lay on your back because at some point baby um, gets so heavy that they can like cut off the circulation to your heart. And so you're not getting as much like blood flow to your heart, which means baby's not getting as much blood flow. And it freaks me out because I am a big back sleeper. I'm constantly falling asleep on my back or I'll roll over in the middle of the night and I'll be laying on my back and I'll wake up and I find myself on my back and I'm just like, <laughs> so I have to figure out how to stop that too, because I'm always on my freaking back back. <laughs> I don't know what to do about it. I'm such a back sleeper. That's all I do. It's the, it's a comfiest position for me. Blue Gatorade. Yes. And it's that frosted glacier freeze. Kind too. And it's delicious. Put a pillow behind your back, that's how I slept. Well, it's not comfy all the time. I like to roll, and when I'm like, have a pillow on my back, and I roll to my side, it's not comfy anymore, because I'm like this, angled. So like, I just want, oh, $1,000 today? Oh, heck yeah. Oh my gosh. A mountains of pillows on the bed? No, I do have a pregnancy pillow though, I do. Yeah, the pregnancy pillow does kind of keep me from laying on my back a lot, too, sometimes, though. I've never been pregnant, and I have one, and it's life-changing. Yeah, my husband says so many times that he's going to steal my pillow. He's very jealous of it. I was a stomach Yes! And I was a stomach sleeper. I still kind of am. Like, I can sleep on my stomach still comfortably at times, but I, like, try not to do it too much. Did we get a promotion? We didn't get a promotion? Why not? I swear they don't want to hand promotions out to us. This is bull malarkey. I want some freaking promotions. Why will they not give us them? Uh, It's all elementary. Oh my god, we got our elements plaque. Let me hang that up. It's all elementary. We got our elements pack because we made that collection. Aw. Also, we have this picture. I don't know where I want to put right now. Maybe I'll put... I'm going to have to move this poster, I feel like. Oh my gosh. And you broke the shower. Men. I'm trying to get you promoted and, you know, living our best life over here, but you are making things difficult, woman. 
Okay. Sell all the things that I can sell. Which is another $1,000 in our pockets! I only ever want to sleep on my stomach when I'm pregnant. No! <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Having such a hard time finding the new elements? Dude, oh, okay, he's gonna be a comedian. Spend so much of your time uh, looking for crystals and rocks, especially when you're at work. Once you get enough done for a promotion, g uh, just go get all the elements and send all of them into the Geo Council. Even if you sent them all in before, send them all in because some can be duplicates in the same crystals or same metals. Like they can get what the same metal can give you two different ones, so just keep on keeping on. Um, mop that up and then open that up. Sell that. Okay, baby girl, did you go to school today at all? Yes, you did. Go do your homework when you're done eating. Mint, what can I do for you? Oh, you're gonna mop a puddle upstairs too. Great. Many congratulations again. I can't stay long tonight, but I'm so glad I was able to be here for the gift reveal. Gorky Turtle, I'm glad you were here too, honey. Go have a wonderful day, okay, sweetheart? Good night. <laughs> or good morning, or good night, or whatever you do. What social bunny? Oh, I don't know. Not certain. Like something in the game or something in real life. Oh, this music is so cute. Oh my God, we have not saved in a minute. Once again, we are an hour in and I got no save warnings. I'm just saying. Where have you guys been? It was on your Sims computer? Oh! Um, I'm assuming it's like some sort of like app, like kind of like Instagram or it's like a social media app on The Sims, I think. I think it comes with the high school pack, maybe. Okay, Mint. Um, let's sell those two figures. Honestly, I can sell so much in her inventory too, but I don't want to yet. And let's go ahead and weed the garden. I tend to save once the sims all go to bed daily. Wow, your game must be on a good loop then if you can get all your sims to go to bed at the same time. <laughs> you must be really good at taking care of your sims because I am not. <laughs> Which is why I turned their needs down a little bit because I'm bad at it. Negan, the save warning is not helpful now. Okay. How can I get mint freaking good again um play a social prank okay can you go ahead and prank your daughter then because we're good parents i guess um yeah she wants to pull a prank and so she's gonna pull one on her daughter because well her daughter's right here and available Oh, you bet her. She better have a good sense of humor, otherwise she's gonna really grow up to hate her mom. Oh, she liked it. What a mommy's girl. Thank goodness. Listen to alternative music. What do we got on? We got hip hop on. Okay, so listen to alternative music. We're trying to give her up to what is it? Five hundred? So five thousand or something? Two thousand? It was two thousand, I think. So she can um. Oh gosh, what is it? So she can get that career, like, promotion faster thing. After the day I had with saving. <gasps> Negan, you had such a bad moment. I'm still so sorry. For I grieve for you, honey. Not the air horn? Look, she liked it. It's fine. Stop talking to your daughter for five seconds and listen to the music. I'm so glad that you and your- Oh, she has reached her social level 10 already? Big girl! And she can do extra credit work? And hold on, let me throw that in there. There, beautiful. 
That gave us forty dollars. <laughs> hey, you should save now. I just did now. <laughs> it's only been three minutes. Ever since the update, my sins are always getting in negative conversations and being mean if I don't monitor them. I haven't had that problem. I don't know why. Because I've, I've heard that as a problem for a lot of people. <laughs> my current project is making a whole neighborhood of Star Wars characters. Nice. What is the third gen? I think the third gen is yellow. Let me double check. Not so berry. Oh, I have caps locks on. All right, not so berry legacy challenge. Um, the not so berry. So the first generation is mint. The second generation is rose, which obviously is going to be rosely. Um, and the generation three is yellow. So they will be clumsy, ambitious, and a loner, nerd brain, and they want to be an astronaut. Oh, the third gen is going to be so much fun. Rose gen is hot headed, a snob, romantic. Serial romantic politician. So she, our little Rosalie here, is going to be our little troublemaker heartbreaker over here. So that's going to be great. <laughs> Mint was our scientist smarty smarty cakes over here. Grow up, cow plant. We got Hayish Moody over here. And I want to see Hayish Moody be a big baby. I'm upset that they're not a big baby yet. You know what, Rosalie, if you're done with your homework, which you will be here in two seconds. Aw, oh, talking with your mom, how sweet. Third gen sounds so fun. I know, it sounds cute, I can't wait. Why don't you go ahead and enjoy that swing set out there? I don't even know if you know it exists right now. Here's the thing though, it's like, should Minth have more kids or nah? Like, should Mint have more babies? I don't know. I'm not certain how I feel about that. Oh, look at her enjoying that swing set. So cute. Oh, she even goes back into the trees a little bit. Nice. Cassandra, how do you turn their needs down? I've been struggling with those. Okay, so if you want to turn your Sims' needs to decrease at a slower rate, one thing you need to have is the MC Command Center mod. If you don't have it, you're going to need that. If you do have it, what you do is you click on a computer. You go to MC Command Center, the MC Command Center settings, and I want to say it's gameplay... Fame, difficult, maximum, household size, mode of decay. Then you find mode of decay, and you click whatever one, if you want to change the baby, cat, dog, fame, sim mode of decay, and you just enter the amount that it is. Um, I have it to 40, <laughs> and the usual sim decay amount is 100. Zero would be no mode of decay, their, their modes never decrease, and 200 would be double the amount of mode of decay. I put it at 40 because I'm a baby, and I hate constantly taking care of my Sims' needs because it's hard. So yeah, MC Command Center is amazing. It's always MC Command Center. MC Command Center does so much. It's if you get one mod, if you get one mod in your game, make it MC Command Center. You will not regret it. Just learn how to install it, and you'll have a great time. Fix the shower first. <laughs> yes, bring on the extra kids so we can check them in during. So we can check in on them during future gens. <gasps> oh, that's right. Duh, she could like live with them. You know what? I think we, we could, she could benefit from having a little sister. But I think we're going to play in this pregnancy. We're going to play in this pregnancy. She's going to get pregnant on... Tomorrow. We're going to get her pregnant tomorrow. That way the baby will be uh, growing up over the weekend. I think that'll be a good time. Also, what do we want to put floating in the test tube? What should we put in this? Like, what decor item should we have in here? I Normally, I would say a gnome, but they always disappear out because gnomes move around a lot. So I need a different item 
to have floating up in here from decor that we can put in. Um, also I see parts that I can sell on the floor, so we're gonna do that. Because money. A crystal? That could work. Oh, honey. No, not scavenge. Oh, you're throwing it away. Oh, thank you. Never mind. I guess not. Can you also repair your daughter's dollhouse that she destroyed for me, please? A cow plant? A freezer bunny? But that's still a gnome. It'll, it'll go away. Well, no, it won't go away. It's a freezer bunny, not the gnome. <laughs> Pet fears? What are you afraid of? The toilet? Why, Minty? Why the toilet? No, 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 no. Mop it. Don't play in it, please. All right, your daughter's room has been cleaned up. Now what? Um, if you extract the MC Command Center folder, it does not work. So the MC Command Center is honestly the easiest thing to install in your game, but it's surprising how it works. So when you first download MC Command Center, it's gonna be in a file. Do not extract that file. Instead, take everything that is inside that file when you download it, drag all, it should be like 10, 11 files. Drag it all out and put it straight in your mods folder and that's all you have to do. Just take all that script and from the file that you downloaded, you don't put that file in your computer. You take all the script from that file that you download drag it all out and put it in your mods folder. And that is how MC Command Center works. Do not extract anything, do not do anything extra. Just download it, open that file you downloaded, take everything that's on the inside of it, which is like 10, 11 items, take it out, drop it in your mods folder, and it should work. Poor Minty trying to bond with the toilet. Look, okay, I don't know what she's doing over here. Look at this mommy-daughter dance, though. It's so cute. Oh, okay, thank you. I hope that helps you, honey. Because MC Command Center is amazing. It is a little different than other mods you download because other mods, you know, you do the typical extract it and stuff like that. But no, for this one, you just download the file, take all the script out, and put it straight in your mods folder, and that's it. You can delete the original folder you're downloaded because once you take everything out of it, you don't need it anymore. That explanation helps a little bit. Watch a YouTube video. Like, video, I'm a very visual learner. Just type in how to install MC Command Center mod on YouTube, and there should be a helpful video that helps out too, because I'm a visual learner, and that's exactly what I had to do when I was first learning how to install that mod. So, check that out. <laughs> it makes it so much easier. What you doing, baby girl? You getting crazy over here? You know, your mom, your mom, I'm trying to get her to level up here. Wait, listen to backyard music. Why does she always want to listen to music? Change station to backyard. Listen to backyard music. Um, complete the day of work. Ready for new challenges? Click on your sim and select Reagan Passion before going to work. Interesting. Hit what? Regain passion. Oh. Okay, so I have to hit regain passion before I go into work. Now what do you want to listen to? Listen to hip hop music. Goodness, woman. Hip hop. Listen to hip hop. Oh, prank. Now she wants to prank somebody. All right, daughter, you're up again. Daddy's working. So mommy needs to prank somebody, so let's do the noxious cloud. Yes, you can only get mods if you have a PC, though. Uh, console mods aren't a thing yet. Unless that Cursed Forge is allowing people to do mods, but until then, I'm not sure. Cloud Gaze with Kyoko? Why? 
Oh my god, it's lottery day? How do I- There's a huge lottery happening and a jackpot is too tempting to miss out on. You can win if you don't play. The drawing occurs tomorrow morning, so make sure you buy your ticket. Purchase a lottery ticket via the computer or your phone. One limited ticket per person. Um, apply for that. Purchase a lottery ticket. Oh my god, a hundred bucks? Fine. How else do I purchase a lot of shopping? Purchase a lottery ticket. Can my daughter purchase a lottery ticket? If my daughter can purchase a lottery ticket, dang it, she can't. Did you purchase one? All right, so we both purchased a lottery ticket. So they are ready to go. All right, let us go ahead and regain our passion. I have not started, oh, an imposter check, got it. I have not started watching the new Wednesday show yet, but I want to. I just have, I don't sit down and watch a lot of TV, believe it or not. <laughs> I'm like a movie person. So I'll be working on my computer and I'll casually throw something up, but I won't pay attention to it. So I usually rewatch things I always watch. <laughs> but like once I have it up, I can't not be bothered to talk to anybody. I just like focus in on what I'm working on and I just sit there and watch a movie. <laughs> but I'm sure it's really good and I would love to watch it. I just haven't yet. <laughs> Water shut up day is now in effect. Okay, well that's great. No, oh, not on top of the fridge, no. But thank you for keep giving me 40 bucks. I appreciate that. Oh, nope, try not trying to set the game time. Okay, do I need to regain my passion again? Mint has already attempted this recently. Great. Let's go to work. Hey, Mint, I think Miles Green is pretty cute. Should I ask him out? I'm pretty sure you delivered him. But yeah, sure. I binged it all in one day. Oh, God. <laughs> Going to work. I want to get promoted today. Also, do we have enough rewards points? Yet? No, we still need like over oh, 1,200 points. Why do I have this pinned? I don't care. I need more options. I need more things to do. I feel like I should change her thing, but I don't want to. I'm scared to. Yes, go to work. <laughs> gotta work, gotta work, gotta work, 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 gotta work, gotta work, gotta work, work, work. <laughs> I'll add it to my list, my watch list. <laughs> I have to do other things when I watch TV or I fall asleep. Yes, I'm bad at that too. Like once I put something on, I end up walking away from it half the time. I just, I don't have the patience to sit and watch the whole thing typically. Like my head, I get so distracted. I'm like, oh, I should do that. Oh, I should do that. Oh, I should do that. <laughs> and I get terribly distracted. All right, so we have a need to have a deep conversation with Alexander Goth, analyze a plant sample, and have our 10th breakthrough. So let's start with the deep conversation and then we will analyze the plant sample. Where is the deep conversation? And analyze a plant sample. Go on in, Min. Start your day. Go ahead. Thank you. I love your loading screen. I didn't realize how easy it was to install loading screens in The Sims. Like, it's super easy. It's just like installing any other mod. You just put it in your mods folder and it just pops up. It's pretty easy. I was surprised. I never thought to change my, my loading screen because I'm like, oh, it probably doesn't matter that much. But it's kind of nice to have. I'm thinking about trying to look for a different one and change it because I picked this one last minute just to see if it worked. Um, so now I'm kind of curious if I want to get a different one. Or see what other ones are kind of out there for me to use. And then ask a coworker for a medal. We'll do that after we analyze plant sample. We're going to have our 10th breakthrough today. Hopefully we get another picture today. I would love to have another one of those pictures. 
Um, mind control a coworker coworker to change their outfits. We are getting really mean lately with all this mind controlling our coworkers. Let's go ahead and have her change to a formal wear outfit because I know she has a beautiful formal formal wear outfit. Get off of the machine. Uh, Laura Bibbet thinks, oh, yes, we'll become best friends as long as you let me get a DNA sample if I need it. Why are you in your not working outfit? Like, why are you in your regular clothes, Laura? Well, Aurora's about to join the crew, so I guess it doesn't matter. She's turning into an evil scientist. No, I don't want her to be an evil scientist. I mean, we talked about her being like Sheldon Cooper, where she's a little awkward at times, but like, I don't want her to be bad. Look at Aurora. Look at that beautiful lady in their beautiful dress, and I need a medal. Three coworkers to change their outfits? Goodness, fine. Thank you, Aurora. Oh, can I also have a crystal? <laughs> Thank you for the medal, and now may I have a crystal. She gave us a death medal. Interesting. Let's sell that. Take a thoughtful shower, and I need to still mind control two other coworkers to change their outfits. So, let's get your mom. Change outfit to her formal wear as well. We're just going to go fancy today. We're going to make everybody wear their formal wear outfits. Stop talking to Aurora. We don't need her anymore. You look beautiful today. It's wear your formal work to work day. <laughs> it's formal wear day at work. Should we also participate in changing to our formal wear outfit then? I feel like we need to. Um, let's wear the sparkly dress because why not? Please change into your formal wear outfit. It is fancy day at work today. Look at her go. What's her mom's formal wear outfit? It's probably like her regular queen outfit, right? Oh no! She wears the mint one. Fascinating. Um, where else? I need somebody else to change their outfit. All right, Paulette, you're up next. Mind control, change outfit to form wear. Honestly, the bim bets I should just make wear their everyday outfit because Laura is already on that same fan. How do you make multiples of each category? Um, there is a plus button above the outfit ca category. And if you hit that button, it will uh, go ahead and let you put up to five outfits for each category. Um, so in the actual, like, create a sim, on top of the pictures of, like, the casual, formal, you know, outfits, there's a little plus button. Oh, gosh darn it. I totally forgot that they have Aurora's outfits on, too. I need to change that. Bonnie? Oh, all right. We got an Aurora impersonator as well. Take a thoughtful shower. Analyze a crystal sample with a microscope. <gasps> I want to do that. Also, crystal sample. Why not? One crystal slide. How do I get a crystal slide? How does one get crystal slide? How do I do that? Click on the microscope and select a sample to analyze. Sims can find samples if they have high enough logic skill to collect a sample. Place the collect. So collect microscope sample. Oh my god, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay. There. Okay, got it. Let's go ahead and look at it. It's a dress up for work day? Absolutely. And I love to see it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Look at Mint and her sparkly dress, too. I love this freaking dress. I 100% forget who made it, but I love it so much. It's such a beautiful gown. Very elegant, very fancy, and that's what we like to see. Uh, this is the scientist career from the get to work pack. It's super fun. I highly recommend that um, expansion pack for anybody that's looking for one. 
just get get to work. It's so worth it. My control sent to clean. And Loki Beaker, you are the closest to me. So I will be mind controlling you to clean. How is this allowed in a work setting? How do I get promoted from mind controlling my coworkers? <laughs> How? We still not had our 10th breakthrough. Maybe I just need to take that thoughtful shower it wants me to take. Oh, how do you have get to work and not bother with the science career? It's actually really fun. I very much enjoy um, the science career. Okay, order coworker to analyze a crystal. What? Friendly, do I tell them to do that? Pursue their dream. How do I order them to do that? Am I the boss now? I can tell them what to do? Wow, am I a boss? I'm a boss, 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 boss. How do, how does one do? How does one do that? Do I click this thing? I don't know how to do that. Oh, select coworker under order coworkers, choose, okay. Select coworker. Order coworker. Oh my god, I can do that. Wow. All right, and everybody's yelling at me to save again, so save it. Ow. Sorry, big boy. Fucking save, Josie! I did, witches! <laughs> Thank you, though, for those beautiful reminders. It always makes me laugh. Am I gonna have that breakthrough? Uh -huh. I did have that breakthrough, let's go. But I also wanna stay late. That way I, cause I should be in gear for a promotion. And I need to analyze a crystal myself. Oh, and I just told him to do it. <laughs> Make Simplify Serum? What is it? Synthesize the serum. I can't, oh wait, what do I need? Parsley and a carrot, I don't have those. And we don't freaking grow those. Like, we don't make anything and I hate it. Oh, hold on, I have one thing I wanna do. How do you have the option to stay late? So you click on the time amount in the work, like how, you know, at the little clock down time, uh, you click it and you can pick to stay late. Which I always stay late because, well, I don't ever get anything done if I don't. <laughs> Let me see if I can do this here. Is the get to work pack, you can get to work with a lot of careers, yes. But get to work is also so much more than that. It also lets you have um, aliens in your game, which are super fun. Future sim. Lab. I want to change the lab, but I want to get one off the gallery. And I did it earlier in a different playthrough. But I haven't done it in this one. Kitsune is still coming for Negan's throw over here with a get to sub to chastity to, win, to winning bubbles to heavily sims to the Bel Air. Bojar or the catch. If you received to get to some place, tell Ketsun thank you because she is crying for Nathan's throat. I can't. <gasps> yes, this is what I'm talking about. Come on, okay. How good do we think this is though? It looks cute, honestly, and it doesn't look too overly crowded. I kind of like this. Let's go ahead and do this one. This looks cute. I can't be. Um, to work in a vet office, that comes with pets. I'm a level 9 scientist, but I never knew how to do the option to stay late. Yeah, oh my gosh, many mittens. Watch out, Negan. <laughs> There. 
All right, let's check out the science lab, see what it looks like. I, th I think it's cute. I kind of like the change, the change in look. Is it facing the same way that the other one used to be? Uh, I think it's, yeah, this is the front. It's kind of cute. I kind of like it. We're going to go with it for now because I just want to change the pace. I think it's really awesome, actually. So when you first walk in, there's, it looks like there's a bunch of tables, areas to work, a little lounging area, a little dining area. Then there's the different labs to research things in. Oh my goodness. There's a tooth synthesizers. This one. Yes, there's multiples of everything and everything's kind of close together. <gasps> and the freaking gardens is cute. I like that. Mintka water mall. It's giving mansion vibes. I know, I like that. Um, and there seems to be, oh my gosh, a cool basement. Oh, this is where you can build a rocket. That is super cool. I like that. I should honestly keep building the rocket. Let's go ahead and do that. I want to build the rocket. Or do I have to worry about that for a different part of the career? Well, you know what? We need to build it up because I had the other one built up in a different way. Um, and upstairs, it looks like more rooms, one for the robots. Oh, Leah, you look beautiful, honey. A lot of a bathroom situation, a kitchen to eat at, little office. Yeah, this is super cute. I like this a lot. Oh, somebody's in the observatory. Oh, that's cute. I like that. This is really nice. <laughs> Mint, I like how you dress up in a dress to go downstairs and work on the rocket. She's like, no, I cannot do this in my nice dress. I have to do this in my sun dress. Couldn't possibly work on it anywhere else. Oh, but you can't see the rocket from down here, though. So you can see it outside. And if you look down, you can see Mint working on the rocket. That's cute. I like this. It's always nice to have a change of pace, you know? I'm waiting for the level of destruction. I know, Kitsune and Athena's beautiful work and guacamole's with getting this thing back and how it should be and witches and everybody like <laughs> You all do so much work to get the the uh, and the jar looking nice. Oh my god, we also have a hype train going on right now. Thank you guys. Yeah, Kitsune definitely started that, didn't they? <laughs> oh my goodness. But it's been so while since we've had a hype train. Thank you guys. <laughs> Oh my goodness, my freaking nose. It's just so bad. Oh my god, we got another pretty picture. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. This one came from the crystal. Oh, I love it. It's got my theme of purples and blues. Yes, I love it. You love to see it, you really do. Oh. Oh my gosh, we are working really nicely on this rocket. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mint, no one can tell you that you don't work hard here, okay? Built this much of a rocket all in like two sim hours, okay? Oh, I like that little, <laughs> I like that get, or that emote, sorry. That is super cute. Ah. Oh. Mittens, yeah, tell me where you get this one or who it came from. Mint workday will end in one hour. Great. But we're building a rocket! And we're having fun building a rocket. If I don't get a freaking promotion today, I'm gonna riot. I can't be because this, I can't go this whole stream. We're an hour and a half in. Thank God! <laughs> We're finally level six. 
That's what I need. Kitsune has gifted a sub to Blue Elizabeth, to Jeanette, to Mallory, to Chess, uh, Cheshire and Cat, and to Becca. Mmm, Kitsune. Kitsune. Sweetheart. All right, I'm gonna put you in a VIP section. Like, I don't even know how I would do that, but good lord, honey. If y'all have not followed already, you might want to do that, because Kitsune is just throwing them at everybody right now. So if you want to gift it up, please do that for them. Also, Kitsune, thank you. I appreciate that more than anybody here. <laughs> so thank you. Let's start a riot. <laughs> Infamous Savinger. Lots of fun, colorful ones. I'm going to have to get some of those, because those are super cute. I love that. I love those colorful emotes. I gotta learn how to do that. I gotta learn how to do simple animations like that. Cause those are adorable. All right, we are finally a level six scientist. And I am grateful for that. Also, it is still the day of the lottery. We'll learn who won the Sims lottery soon. That's nice. Hopefully we get rich. I would love that. I've never had a Sim win the lottery. Oh, Rosalie, you look so cute in your little dress oh baby girl i love that for you oh mom gives her a hug as soon as she comes home too excuse me while i sob like uh you can't tell me that their mom daughter relationship ain't cute i think it's adorable so as soon as mom gets to level seven that's when i'm gonna age her up into a teen so mom needs at least one more promotion and then I will age her up to a teen. <laughs> Cloud gaze with Kyoko. I need some different things. I feel like I'm allowed to redo her thing. I feel like... Okay, so we did the Chief of Mischief. We've completed it. We've done it. I need something decent, something different that we can work on because I need more points. I need more points. Um, I feel like let's just go for. Wow, they're all the same in the beginning. That's uh. Um. Mm. Wow, these all I've never noticed how all these are all like the same. That's uh sucks. Oh, I need some easy ones. Painter. Best selling author. Um <sighs> Fine. I just need something that we can do easier for more points. A few moments later. 12 new subs? Wow. I know! I love it! Witches! Don't! Don't you dare! Don't you dare over here! Oh, the kissing! I freaking love it. Read a child for two hours? God, I forget how you read the kids. Okay, how do I read to this child? Oh, they're singing. That's adorable. How the do I read to this kid? It says I need to read to my kid. Um. How do I read to my child? Or can you only do that for toddlers? Uh, I don't know how to do things. Socialize with your child ten times? I can talk to this kid. I can talk to this kid. Hold on, we need to talk to this kid. Oh, but you're sleepy. Fine, I'll wait for you to be done sleeping. I love the not so very challenge. Me too. It's really exciting. And it's nice to do something different with your kids. With adults in select, click on the child's books. And select read to a child. Okay. Apparently, I just need to pick some child's books. Show all children's. I'm gonna get a couple. Oh wow, there's some really cheap ones. That's nice. I'll take the cheap ones, thank you. 
Oh, because I own that one. Uh, yeah, sure. <sighs> what about toddler books? Yep. It's a couple of those. Open. Give me this one in my pocket. Is this how I do this? <gasps> yes, that is how I do it. Oh, we can do this. I can do this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy over here. Okay. I got two books in my pocket waiting to go. I can read these to my kid when we wake up. How's the money tree going? Yeah, is the money tree even done anything for us yet? No. Besides weed. It constantly has weeds. So yeah, you have to actually like select the book itself and then you can do it. That was a little confusing, but we got there. <laughs> Man, ah, you're so lucky I'm letting you finish your sleep. Because I never let you work on your stuff. Um, yeah, she can like hip hop. No problems with that. When do we go to work? Are we gonna have enough time to do this? Okay, we have work in nine hours. We got plenty of time. Open some profile. Closer from happy memories. Oh, so cute. I'm sorry, I thought that was a puppy walking around. Lottery six, the lottery was awesome. Mint had a wonderful time and did everything she planned to do. Lottery was successful. Did we make any money off of it? No. I guess they'll announce the winners later, right? It'll pop up in a, as a pop-up later. <laughs> read to a child. Rosalie Berry. Ah. Go read to your kid! Rosalie, come sit. Your mother would like to read to you. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 come sit. It's fine. No, read to child. Rosemary, let's go. Please, read to your child. It says I have to do it for two hours, so let's go do this. I want to get these points. Ah! Uh, Why will I not read to her? Please! I need this! Oh, there we go. Yes, come on, read to her. I have to grab some more. Because that freaking didn't work for a minute. Rosalushi. Some stay boom. How I dumped your father? Wow, that's real. Okay, well, she's at least reading to her. So we'll see if, you know, we do it for an hour or two. And the first book didn't even wrap up to being an hour. Oh, God, this is going to take a while. Rosalie, sit your butt back down. We got another book to read. Let's go. Thank you so much for that three-month sub, honey. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Have we hit an hour yet? No! Why did that break all of a sudden? Alright, well, Dad, you're gonna repair this because Mom's trying to read to her. Goodness, that takes so long. Read this one to her now. Couldn't figure out. So you have to have the child's book in your actual inventory, and then you can click the book and select to read to the kid. But you have to have the book in your inventory and then click on the book. So it has to be a children's book. Yeah, it was like a whole thing. I was wondering how to do it myself for the longest time. You might want to save. It's only been 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, that's only another hour. 
Um, okay, I need Bobby some more chair. Fine, if you do the sound, I have to do it. <laughs> when the sound is played, that makes me do it in, in that exact moment, if I can. Okay, is this a children's book? Um, sure. There. Reach a child, Rosalie. Dad, you took our spot! Uh, oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> yes, kitten, yes. <laughs> <laughs> when the sound is played, it's like a rule I have to save in that moment, if I can. If I can't, then I can't. But if I can, I have to. Kitsune runs this channel. I can't do anything. I can't. I'm, I don't have a say. Alright, we've read to them. We've read to them for two hours, finally. Alright, friendly ask about school. We gotta socialize with them eight times. Get to know. You can stop reading to them now. She's perfectly fine. You know, Mom Mint spends a lot of time with her daughter, and I think that's very cute. Enthused about her favorite music, brighten her day, because the girl's gonna go to school soon. Uh, don't brag about your possessions to your daughter. Uh, become best friends. <laughs> Discuss her interests. Did I just say cuddle? Cuddle! Yep, yep, yep. Conversations, conversations, conversations. Oh, it's so cute! Best friends. Those about vampires? Oh, no, 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 no. That'll start a whole thing. Discuss logic with her. Because, you know, we want her to be smart, you know? We need her to be. Discuss the latest in video games. We gotta tie it back down, though. Gotta tie it back down a little bit. Heartfelt compliment. Speaking of which, hydration and your self-care <laughs> Bibles are still off. Taps foot like disappointed mother. What? This, I hydrate... Oh god, it's summer fun day. Another freaking holiday. Be a parent to a child with three friends. Be friends with three of your children. I have one! And have a child get married! Oh, I can't do any of these except make sure you have a kid or a friend. So, you have me, your dad, and the kid. You need to go meet some kids. Um, go play on this until somebody comes over. You need some friends, daughter of mine, because your mom's wish demands that you have two friends. <laughs> two more friends that aren't your mother. <laughs> I know she is. <laughs> She's coming for me. Timmy Tool is always working out here. Do you think there'll be any other kids that actually show up, though? Or are we going to have to take my kids somewhere? Work starts in two... We can't do it. Work starts in two hours. Uh, you need to go to the bathroom, though. Stop flirting with your husband. Then eat the tofu dog if you have time. <clears throat> Can I afford that thing now? I think it's two thousand, isn't it? How how much is it to get more done at work? Please tell me it was two thousand, and I'm not lying to myself. Yes, entrepreneur, it is two thousand. Gosh darn it, I need a little bit more. I just need a little bit more. I mean, actually, well, her dad wouldn't qualify, or herself. I need you to make friends. We're gonna have to have- <gasps> Is that a child over there? That's a child! Gus, say hello to little Miss Maureen Fries. Go say hi to Maureen. Maureen. 
Go, 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 go. Done playing pirates. Go make a friend. Go, 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 go. Go now. Go, Rosalie. Go before mom goes to work. I need you to just say hello to her. Come on, 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 come on. Just say hello. Thank God. Friendly, ask about her name. Just try and talk to her as much as you can before mom has to go to work. And ruins everything for us. Oh, what is she doing? Oh, she's a demon. Oh, you know what? That's fine. She's a cute one, so we'll take it. <sighs> take the kid to the partial meet people there? No! I mean, you don't have to lay on the ground between with a fence between you guys, so... Mm. Oh, honey, uh, what song you're talking about on Twitch? Um, there's little songs and stuff that my uh, followers can play. So you can hear the audio if you're on TikTok, but you can only hear it if you're on Twitch. I was a demon child too. Weren't we all? Weren't we all? <laughs> I feel like like demon child is just a natural. No, it's a holiday, so she ha doesn't have worked. Fine, you're getting pregnant today. Why are you? Why are you already nauseous? Oh my god, her husband was already ready for that. He already had a kiss locked up. He had a kiss locked up and ready to go. He's like, you know what, you feel like barfing? That's the perfect time for me to come in for a little kissy kissy. But I want you to go ahead and try for a baby, guys, because we need more kids. Honestly, twins be pretty legit right now, I'm not going to lie. So, I gotta find a way to make it. Wait, I know exactly how to do that. I know exactly how to do that. I want twins. Give me twins, twin, twin, twins, twins. And I know exactly how to influence this. Besides getting the fertility trait, because I don't want to get that right now. Because I'm saving those points for that entrepreneur. So let me go ahead for lot traits and put that on... On Leyline. So that this place has a better chance of having multiples. And that's only if you have, what, the city living expansion pack or something like that? That your houses can have traits? <laughs> I think, at least. If we name, if it's a boy, can we name him Thorn? Because every rose has its thorn. Oh! <laughs> I thought Thornberry! Oh, that's so cute! Your stream's always bright in my day, so thank you. Cass, thank you, honey! Spams, thank you, too! Did you make a friend yet? No, the friend is escaping! The killer is escaping! Help! <laughs> uh, just, like, say a little bit more to her. Hip bomb! Give her a pep talk. I don't care. Do something. I need you to have friends. Uh, is, is... Something's waiting in the bushes for us. Something's waiting in the bushes of love. <gasps> oh, who played Kitsune? You know exactly what you're doing, honey. Kitsune is hitting it today with all of the good stuff. <laughs> and she's not going to have a child get married for a long time. Be friends with three of your children. I have one. But well, let's see if that worked. Oh, great. And you know, repair the toilet too? Thank you. Well. <gasps> oh, the cat plant! It's all grown up! It's a big baby now! Well, let's go ahead and feed it to make sure it gets some food. Oh, wow. Dad's colorful. But oh, my goodness! The cat plant! It's a big baby now! It's finally all grown up. I caught you finally. I'm in Australia, so timing can be hard. Oh, Cass, I'm so sorry. I know timing makes it so difficult for a lot of people. I'm shocked that not everybody, you know, who watches me is from the United States, which I'm glad not everybody is because I need a little less of those people. <laughs> but I totally understand that, and I'm sorry. I know I've been changing my time schedules around a lot, so, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I forgot to tell you to have a pregnancy test before you mopped, so please go take a pregnancy test so we can see if you're pregnant or not. 
Hey, Schmoody, all grown up. Yes, Mint is pregnant. Gosh, she's gonna go for to work for. Wait, what? <gasps> go to work. Go to work. Okay, you can't. I can't go with you, but you can still go to work. You're gonna do great. Hey, introduce yourself. There's another kid over here. Oh, it's nervous subject. Oh, it's nervous. For any of you that played The Sims 2 on computer, you will know who Nervous Subject is. I still have him as a child in this one. Oh, he's he would be sad too. He okay, so Loki, Loki who works with us is actually the adoptive parent here of little uh, Nervous Subject, and he does ex him and his wife do experiments on Nervous Subject. So it's really a sad life for a nervous, you know? He's really used as a test subject his whole life. So I think you will have him age up with Rosalie. So I think he'd be friends for a long time because I feel like he needs that. He needs Rosalie to brighten up his day. Maybe it'll be a little love story where like Rosalie dates him and doesn't end up marrying him and stuff like that because her challenge says she can't marry him or marry somebody until she's an elder. So maybe, maybe we have her marry nervous when she's finally an adult, you know, like she has a little crush on him as a teen and something like that. Um, but instead she finally falls in love with him and gets married to him when she's an elder, maybe. Cause that'd be kind of cute. I kind of vibe with that. <laughs> little Panther, thank you so much for the follow. And Le Lenore, H Lenore, thank you so much as well. Sure needs to go to school. She needs to go to school. Yeah, um, it says it's a holiday, so it says she didn't have to go to school, and she's not getting any, like, performance ticks off of it, so I'm gonna let her have her day. It is summer fun day, so I'm not gonna make her go to school, but I will make mom go home, to go, go to work and work hard. <laughs> you wanna make sure you feed that cow plant or bad things will happen? I know, that's exactly why I had dad go feed him. <gasps> What are you doing? Why is Paula at the house? You better not be flirting it up with her. We better be your only love. Yeah, he really only knows one person in his life. Oh, poor Isaac. He really just knows us. That's it. That's all he ever seen him do. You've never seen him? Does he come with a pack? No, I made Nervous Subject. I made him. He doesn't come in The Sims 4. I made him and I put him in my game. Along with like a bunch of other Sims 2 characters just because I love them. <laughs> so yeah. Congratulations on your baby boy too. I'm a teacher and early childhood educator. I love... So I love your passion for it. I, um, I also have my bachelor's degree in early childhood education. I was supposed to be a teacher, but you know, the teaching state of America <laughs> is not great. Um, so I kind of backed out of that, but I was a daycare, um, teacher for five years while I was in college and stuff like that. And then for a while when I was out of college, so I always worked in daycare settings and stuff like that. But yeah, I have my bachelor's degree actually in early childhood education. I'm just currently not using it. But actually I'd like to think that it does go a long way because it helps me learn developmentally where my son will be at, what he needs to know what things are normal, to know what things and how to help him in the future. So I do like to think that my um, education background will help me still in the long run, even though I'm not actively using it. He better not be cheating on her. He would never. I'm kind of hoping for twin for Minth to have twin boys. I don't know what Minth is gonna have. I'm very excited to see what she, on the street, Rosalie. On the Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. What's up, buddy? I freaking love having characters like this in my game. Though, why do they always look drunk? What's up, Mr. Clean? You looking as good as ever, baby. Love you. The house has come along great. <laughs> Same, lol. It will invaluable with raising a child, I think. Exactly, I think so too. <laughs> the house has come along great. I remember when you first started and it had almost nothing. I know, it had nothing in it. Now we have a little bit of cash, a little bit of money. Mr. Clean, love him. Wow, that looks like Mr. Clean. That's the goal, sweetie, that's the goal. I love having characters in my game that look like characters. 
like the Disney characters and random characters like Mr. Clean and and uh, Scrub Daddy and Miss Fabuloso and stuff like that. Like to me, having cleaning product character mascots in my game is hilarious to me. Why are you playing in the middle of the road, Rosalie? That is not safe. Get your booty home. I mean, it's you're glad like there's no cars in this game. Well, there's no real ones, but. <laughs> Wait, was that Mr. Clean? Yes! Add Mr. Clean to your game, guys. He makes it so much more fun. <laughs> and... Sorry, I'm still, like, hiccuping. And yes, absolutely, Hobo Jesus as well, which is Hobo Jesus forever. <laughs> yes, but are they neat? Of course he's neat! My girlfriend is sleeping now, and my babies are sleeping with her. Oh. That's so cute. Why is everything in our house breaking? You know what? Let's do a little upgrade. We have 5,000 simoleons. Let's do some upgrading because I'm tired of things breaking all the time. And I don't want to fix them to the point where they don't break all the time. So. What can you do? Eh. Okay. And I want new toilets as well. Because those always break. So let's start with the sinks and the plumbing and stuff. Let's get a better sink. Is, is it a better sink though? Mm. And hopefully it won't break on us all the time. Oh, this one has a reliability of seven. So let's go for this one. And it's pretty cute looking. Yeah, we'll do that one. Uh, as for a toilet, let's get, what is this one? Bladder 10, reliability 5, reliability 5, 5, is that the highest it gets? Reliability 8, reliability 8. I guess 5 isn't that bad and it looks kind of cute, so we'll do this one. And then upstairs to the other toilet. Let's do the same for that. I'm just tired of them breaking all the time because they seem like they break constantly. What else breaks in this house? The showers do, but I don't want to change the showers because they're the only ones that are mint. So yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Hobo Jesus. Oh, honey. Hobo Jesus is quite the character. Let me see. Can I... Maybe Hobo Jesus will be Isaac's friend. Let me see. Empty ch is Hobo Jesus even here though? Um, oh, let me see. I don't even know the best way to find him. I don't even know if he's in here. It's, I mean, it's, he should be in this world. I would think he's in this world. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. I think if I look him up, it's Hobo Jesus the Legend, I think is his name. How about Jesus the Legend? Some not found by name. Ho, oops, Hobo Jesus. <clears throat> I swear it's Hobo Jesus the Legend. Let me just check if I've changed it to Hobo Jesus. Hobo Jesus not found. Hmm. My game library. Let me see. Hobo. Include a custom content. Hobo Jesus. Hobo Jesus the legend. Yeah, it is the legend. Well, this is Hobo Jesus. We love Hobo Jesus. Maybe he's not in. Maybe he, something happened to Hobo Jesus and he's not in this world right now. Hmm. 
That's a pairing I never knew. <laughs> I never knew we needed. Okay, so witches, here's the thing. I've never watched Harry Potter. I I just haven't. It's nothing against Harry Potter. It's just I never watched it. I never read any of the books as a kid. Because here's the thing. When somebody shoves something down my throat so many times, it puts me off of that in particular. I don't think he's in because it won't let me find him. But so like people used to tell me all the time, you need to watch, you got to watch, you got to watch, you got to watch. And I got annoyed and I didn't want to watch it and I didn't want to read the books. And they're like, it's great. You got to do it. And I'm like, I can't do it now. And now I'm an adult and I still haven't watched it. And I'm like, oh, that's such a commitment to start everything or to read everything. But I'm sure I would love it. I'm very much into fantasy and stuff like that. Like, I'm sure I would love it. I just can't. <laughs> oh my God, I love him. Hobo Jesus is amazing. The story of Hobo Jesus too is really funny because we just kind of found him in the world and his name used to be something else. But we named him to Hobo Jesus because that's what everybody would call him. So I literally named him Hobo Jesus. He's on my gallery if anybody ever wants him. And he's just hilarious and I love him. It said Hobo Jesus needs an aspiration. I have no idea. Hm. Same, I go off things that are all hyped up and wait till it dies down. Like, yeah, I don't know why. It's just when everybody like preaches something at me, like you have to do this. like. Stranger Things. I never watched Stranger Things simply because everybody was so obsessed with it. I couldn't do it. There was another show that everybody was obsessed with. I watched a little bit of and I hated it. Oh, Squid Games. I didn't watch Squid Games either because I was like, no. <laughs> like when something is so shoved down my throat, I can't watch it and I don't. So that's it too. <gasps> yes, that's me with Grey's Anatomy too. My friends. Um, back when I guess we were all friends and now we aren't because, you know, that's what happens. But they used to constantly tell me to watch Grey's Anatomy. Like, you have to. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I can't be told to watch something. I can't do it. It turns me off of it instantly. Like, oh, I mean, if somebody says to me, oh, this show's really nice. You should watch it. I'm like, okay, cool. If 17 people tell me to watch it, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Vampire Diaries? No, I didn't watch that. I was a Twilight kid. So to me, Vampire Diaries were just a ripoff of Twilight, and I didn't like it. Yeah, Stranger Things, exactly. All of that, you get it. Oh. Oh, my goodness. You need to watch the new series, Wednesday. It's so good. Girl with the red hair is trying to put me off of Wednesday. No! Don't do it. I did watch The Office, but I watched it years later. Like when everybody stopped talking about it is when I finally watched The Office. Uh, No, I never watched Orange is the New Black either. <laughs> I have seen Star Wars. I love Star Wars. I grew up watching Star Wars, so I, I never got off that train. I still love Star Wars. No, you're good. You're a good girl with the red hair. I plan on watching it. It's on my list. Oh my gosh. Have you watched Friends? Yes. I watched Friends simply though because my parents would have it on all the time for dinner and stuff. So I would end up watching it a lot. So yeah, I did watch Game of Thrones and I love Game of Thrones. It's something me and my husband watched together, but I didn't watch Game of Thrones until they were like seasons in, like many seasons in. And then me and my husband, um, when we first started dating. So I started watching Game of, C Game of Thrones four years ago um, when me and my husband started dating because me and my husband had been together for four years. Um... So however long that was after it started, because they had a good couple seasons out. I did get to see season eight as it was coming out, though. <laughs> but yes, uh, Hunger Games. Oh, yeah, I definitely watched Hunger Games. Um, I remember me and my friends went to school to watch the movies when they were coming out. So, yes, I did love Hunger Games because all of my friends got involved with that one. So it was nice. Yes, that would be me and Stranger Things in 2030. I have a I have a hate towards Twilight, but it's so far off the actual vampire myth mythology that I just can't. No, I totally understand that. I started. I read the Twilight books when I was like in the sixth grade, so like 
And I hated Bella. Unpopular opinion, I hated Bella. I hated Edward. I was a Jacob stan. And my favorite female character in the entire trilogy was the smallest of side characters. I loved Leah Clearwater. I loved her. I thought she was badass. I loved her so much. I would read fan fiction about Leah Clearwater so often just because I wanted more story of her. Like, I thought she was such a cool character. I didn't understand why Stephanie Meyer didn't put more emphasis on her because, like, she's the first and only female werewolf. I'm sorry, why are you not talking about her more? She's a freaking phenomenon. She's way cooler than Bella from the Swan ever was. Like, there's only one female werewolf. Why is she not her own freaking book, her own side story? I don't understand. There's so much potential with that character. The fan fictions of her were amazing. <laughs> so yeah, I loved Leah Clearwater. She was so cool to me. And I hated Bella and I hated Edward. I was a Jacob stan and I wanted him and Leah Clearwater to end up together because they deserved each other. <laughs> I think you'll find that the hate for Bella and Edward isn't so unpopular anymore. Oh my God, but when we were younger, everybody was like, I love Bella, I wanna be just like her. And I'm like, no, she's stringing along too, guys. She's terrible. <laughs> But, like, nowadays everybody hates Bella and Edward because they see how toxic they are. But, like, when they were kids, everybody loved Bella and Edward, and I hated them. <laughs> I read the books as well in Toyland. I love Alice. But I wholly agree that Bella and Edward was awful. LOL say. <laughs> I think we need to add another Discord chat called Twilight Rants. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think Game of Thrones might be, yes, Game of Thrones is on HBO Max. Definitely get, I love that. <laughs> I read the books as well. Oh my God. Also, Rosalie. I liked Rosalie. I did. I loved Rosalie. Super, I loved her story. She was cool. Because of the hate she was getting in indigenous community, she pulled back from making more about them, which makes sense. Which makes sense to me. But I loved Leah so much. I watched the first two episodes of Game of Thrones and I hated it. However, I have a strange thing. So they say the rule is for a show, you got to watch the first uh, the first three episodes of any show. Um, and if it doesn't pick up by the third episode, it's not worth it. <laughs> I know that's like an anime rule, but to me, that's like an any show rule. If you watch three episodes and you, you hate it, it's not going to get better. Yeah, Bella is not, attract <laughs> is not that attractive of a character. No, she's not. Is Leah in your Sims world? I have made her. I have made the entire Twilight cast, though I need to redo them because I deleted so much CC. Um, but yes, I have made all of the Twilight characters because I'm a shameful adult. <laughs> and I have. So let me see, down here somewhere there are. Of course I have the entire Friends cast. I do have all of the Cullens. I made Bella and Alice, Esme, Edward, Rosalie, Carlisle, Emmett. Emmett was my favorite of the guys. And Jasper. <clears throat> um, and then the Clearwater household is, I think two different ones. I made Jacob Black, of course. Um, and then I have Leah Clearwater because I love her. I love her so much. And so, yes, I 100% made her. <laughs> but I have Leah, I have Seth, I have Harry, Sue, I made Embry and Quill and also Claire Young. Um, I have all of them. I have, I have so many more. It's, it's kind of sad except, um, how many of the characters I have made actually. I don't talk about it often because I didn't want to be called that girl, but <laughs> I am 100% that freaking girl. So yeah, I made a lot of the characters. <laughs> Bella is not interesting. She's not a lot. I don't get it. Oh my God. Yes, Mandy, let's add that to the Discord. <laughs> Edward was, oh my God. Ugh. Hello, new here. I'm also playing the not so berry currently on orange gen while pregnant with the next gen. And I also love Game of Thrones. Panda, good luck with that challenge. I'm literally on first gen, obviously with working on rose gen right now, but oh, I'm so, I'm so slow with this. Oh my God, I forgot she was pregnant. And I saw the little baby bump and it made me so happy. 
Oh my god. I'm enjoying this chat. I'm glad, honey. I'm glad. <laughs> Champ and Durkeem. No Quimbo. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> if she had done better portraying, I think it would have been fine. Stephanie Meyer has a very narrow worldview. Oh my god, yeah. And I also like watched a whole TikTok about how she doesn't do any research at all. And I know her making the natives cut their hair was a really big deal. Like, because, you know, with Native Americans, their hair is very important and symbolic to them and stuff like that. So how she wrote them in the book was very offensive to a lot of Native Americans. And I totally understand that that's why she didn't go into them more. But oh, I wanted more of them because I loved them. I thought they were so cool. <laughs> you should make Hunger Games characters. I think I made one of them. Um, let me see. Let's see, let's see. You have them all as werewolves? No, I have not turned them on to werewolves though because I hate the werewolves. <laughs> not like not the, the book werewolves. I hate the Sims werewolves because they're a lot and they're very annoying. <sighs> Let me see. Have you ever heard about the re have you ever heard about the readers? No. I want to rewatch the Hunger Games movies. Actually, I've been like really contemplating rewatching Hunger Games all over again because I was so attached. I was so attached to the movie and I loved it. I watched all of them as they came out. To me, they were phenomenal stories. I, what is this blank one? Mince Voodoo Doll? Oh, interesting. <laughs> So yeah, I very much want to watch The Hunger Games again. I'm probably going to do that sometime. But I'm so bad. I never pick... <laughs> have you watched the Divergent series? Yes, I have. I loved the Divergent series as well. It was not a play on The Hunger Games, but it was a really good movie. A really good movie series and stuff like that. I liked it too. Is it time to go back to work yet? In 11 sim hours? We're not going to make it through anything today. <laughs> I loved Pita. Or Patia. <laughs> the new Hunger Games movie is about President Snow and his life. Oh, that's right. They're making a new one? Or is it out already? I have not. I understand, although I also hate The Sims 4 werewolves. Uh, she did next to no research until it came to Jasper, and she did a ton of research on the Confederate soldiers. Oh my god! And the fact that she did so much research for Jasper is... Ugh, and she, like, glorified him. Oh, that... Ugh, it did not sit well with me how she did that. How she did so much research for Jasper, but she couldn't research anything else. And Jasper's character... Like, I hate how she glorifies him for being a Confederate, and it makes me a little scared. For her, because obviously he was fighting to keep slaves and stuff like Ooh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have to, I have to, it's been, I can't even say who my favorite uh, character in the Hunger Games was probably you know Katniss because who else does anybody pay attention to but like I have to rewatch all of the movies and read the books all over because I read the books and watched the movies as a kid but I was like you know in junior high so it's been a minute <laughs> but like I love those movies I, I watched them all when they came out I read all the books everything but it's been so long I don't I barely remember any of the characters or anything like that but I definitely would like to reread or watch all of those again because they were really good and yes, I am doing the not so very challenge. Stephanie Meyer is yuck, but I love all the people who take characters and make things their authors wouldn't like. I know, I love that. <clears throat> Never thought about the angle, the Confederate part. Yikes! I didn't know she did that. Yeah, that's the part that gives you some ick. Like I love, I love her books. The Twilight series was really good as a kid. You know, I loved it. But like, the things she did. Also, I hate how she glorifies Bella as the only person that's worthy of kids. Because when Stephanie Meyer secretly does not like a character, you know what she does with those female characters? She makes it so they're not able to have kids. Rosalie, Alice, Esme, none of them can have kids because in Stephanie Meyer's eyes, obviously they're vampires. They're not, you know, going to have kids and stuff like that. But Rosalie never got her dream. She had that stripped away from her. She had a terrible black, uh, like, 
backstory and stuff like that with things happening to her. Only Bella in this world is able to have kids. Even Leah Clearwater. She made her infertile in the game. Like, in the books. Like, she made it so Leah would not have children. Because only Bella is special enough to have a child in this world. That ticked me off more than anything. Because Stephanie Myers punishes women in her books by making them infertile. And I hate it! <laughs> I knew she was religious, but yeah, that's not good. Yeah. She has very specific religious background. It comes through strong in her books. Yep. We should all watch them someday. I haven't seen them in years. I'm totally, for, I'm totally down for that. I'm totally down for like a Hunger Games movie marathon, Divergent, Twilight. Even though the Twilight movies, when you watch them as an adult now, are so cringy. <laughs> oh my god. The background of Rosalie and the men drinking, etc. Like that was all over the top in the movie. Oh my god. But like Rosalie's revenge story on her like fiance though was... I liked that part. <laughs> But yeah, if you never noticed that, that's a trend with Stephanie Meyer. Only Bella is worthy of having a child in her book. And she wasn't even a good mom. Like, she was not a good mom. Everybody but her watched her daughter. Like, she was not a good mother. All right. Is there anything else we could work on? We can't have more children, and none of our kids are going to get married for a long time. So there's nothing I can do for the Big Happy Family Reward right now. Oh yeah, the revenge scene was gold. Yes. Oh my gosh. She was blessed with so she was blessed with so many characters that could have been interesting, but they were given to the author who didn't do them justice. I know. I've never seen the Twilight movies. For anybody that does not like Twilight, I'm so sorry we're having all this conversation about all these different books. But, like, I am uh, I get so bent up about it because, like, I even... Uh, this, is so, this is so embarrassing. So, none of you are... None of you are allowed to make fun of me, okay? I'm not going to tell you what my old username was, but... I used to write fan fictions and post them online for Leah Clearwater and Jacob because I was that into Twilight. Like I was in a serious chokehold for Twilight when I was younger. Like, cause I, I when the when the books and the movies were first coming out, I was all about them. I was all about them. It was my personality for years. I was that Twilight girl, and I wrote fan fictions. So I'm sad. <laughs> I am a sad, sad person. No one is allowed to judge me. No one's allowed to make fun of me because I was a young child, okay? <laughs> I'm no, 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 no. I'm not dropping the username. I'm not dropping the titles. Nothing. And nope, 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 nope. <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> But, like, I promise I was in that much of a chokehold. Oh, honey, can you go feed the, the cow plant? But I was in that much of a chokehold for Twilight. I was into it. The lore, the background, the everything. I was all over that crap. Drop them titles. No. <laughs> they are dead and gone. I think they're, honestly, they're still up somewhere because I never deleted them. But, No. <laughs> Unpopular opinion, my favorite character in the Hunger Games was Finnick. I think I kind of remember them. Listen, I gotta have them now! <laughs> when was the last save? Uh, probably a while ago. I'll go ahead and save. <laughs> no! <laughs> the, the nice thing is my username is nothing. It's nothing like what this used to be. Like what my username is currently. It was not Hey Mandy, so good luck finding them. My username was 100% different. <laughs> When I was a lot younger, when I was really, really young and into the computers, I had different usernames. So, thank goodness it's nothing like my username today. <laughs> so, you guys will never know. You will go and read Leah fanfiction and you'll be like, is that Mandy? Is that Mandy? Is that Mandy? And it's not going to be. <laughs> I never wrote it, but I love fanfic. And I've read it since 2001. Exactly. <laughs> 
how much would we have to pay you? Oh god, there's so much embarrassment that could come like from that if you guys ever found those. There's so much embarrassment that could happen. Y'all would have to pay me a large sum of cash for me to drop those titles or drop those. Absolutely not. She can't be bought. <laughs> like I'm talking like mm, a good amount of moolah to drop those titles for you guys. Cause absolutely not. <laughs> it was probably Twilight Girl 1 LMAO. No, it wasn't. I wasn't that sad, okay? <laughs> Why are you so angry? Mood swings are irritable. Oh, no. We need a fanfic channel in the Discord. No. I was 18 and I was cringe. At least I know people talk about fanfic. I was 18 and it was cringe then. At least now people talk about fanfic. It, I mean, like, the fanfiction sites, they were a little racy at times. Like, they were scandalous. And I had, like, you had to learn what things like lemons meant. And stuff like that. Like, you had no idea. You had no idea what you were getting into when you first started a fan fiction. Like, oh. Um, I have my mood, my Sims moodlets, they decrease at like half the speed, so they stay happy a lot longer, so I'm not constantly trying to fix everybody's moods because I cannot. Oh my god, I forgot about lemons. <laughs> like, the fan fictions had code names, like, they had code names for the spiciness levels. God, I hate to even think about it too, because how young was I when Twilight first came out? And it didn't take me long to find fan fiction after the Twilight books came out. It did not take me long. So how long was I, how old was I when I first learned of lemons? <laughs> my best friend writing, <laughs> my best friend writing fanfic about my chemical romance? <laughs> the sites were dodgy back then. <laughs> fan fiction channel now. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'll throw in a hundred dollars to start. Could we crowdfund a purchase of the titles, <laughs> guys? To release the titles of my fanfic, it's an easy a thousand dollars, guys. Like a thousand dollars for the compensation of my embarrassment. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Let's go for a thousand dollars and I will drop the titles. <laughs> How spicy were your fanfics Mandy shared? Stares at you intensely? <laughs> I don't remember, okay? I just know they weren't like, I would hate to go back and read them myself. Because I don't remember how spicy they were, okay? I just know they were drama filled. <laughs> Twilight came out in 2005. I was born in 1997. Twilight came out in 2005. That would make me... Uh... <laughs> we need titles. Oh my god. <laughs> Heavy on the PvP and 1D fanfics. I was very conflicting between. Oh my god, yeah. I had a friend that was all about One Direction, so... And I know she read fan fictions about One Direction, too, so... Oh, my God. I was pregnant and working for the IRS. <laughs> Edry Audio. A toilet books got me some good bonuses. Nice. <laughs> I just love the stares at you intensely, line witches. Good God. <laughs> a flush. Then a oh, my God. <sighs> you remember the spicy level? I don't! <laughs> <laughs> we need to know Mandy Smart Bridge Gap. I don't remember. I'm gonna have to freaking go and look them up now. I've got to see how many titles I released. Cause I know I wrote more than one. Oh god. <laughs> I know exactly what they're all on to. Hmm. God, you guys got me so curious right now. Oh, I don't even remember. I don't remember my sign-ins. They may be lost to the world. Who knows? 
I read Lord of the Rings fanfic. <laughs> Can I buy one tunnel with subs? Kitsune, I know you will do that. I'm back and she's pregnant. Oh, God, God. I'm so glad Negan missed that in entire conversation. Because with Negan and Kitsune and Athena all together, they could probably raise that money. <laughs> Unexpected visitors! <gasps> Alert! Aliens have infiltrated these headquarters and are trying to pass themselves as humans! Very suspicious! Be on the lookout for them! <gasps> there are aliens at work today! 100%! I can find them instantly! Okay, that's Aurora. She's not an alien. <gasps> an alien! Befriending them. Friendly. Introduce yourself to these aliens. Um, <gasps> this has to be another alien. Screen share? No. <laughs> Can't see that back! Drop the titles! <laughs> Don't be a coward, show us that screen. No! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Here's the thing though, when I wrote fanfic, I never entered myself as a character. I hated insert yourself character fanfics. I didn't like them. I wanted the real characters. Or I hated when people put in new characters and made them like main characters. I was like, no. Start a neighborhood hive of mind. Lie about career to tourists. Hug a tourist. Friendly. Uh, Mr. Miss lie about career. Uh, lie about career. Huh. Oh my god, Negan, we need you. <laughs> oh, wait, what kids do, um, donate a sub to Humming Kitty, to Mom, to Andy, to Alakay, and to Bat Punk. Once again, they, thank you to them. They're trying to work hard for those titles. Uh -huh. Uh, giving us a reminder that she can't be bought. <laughs> I love this chat. Thank you. <laughs> I love you guys too, but you guys are terrible. Oh my gosh. Um, title, title, title. title. <laughs> oh no. It's too jarring. Me, they're so messy for no reason. <laughs> Insert any caption. We want her old favorite pussy user named Megan to help us. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, kids. Soon. K baby, thank you so much for that prime resub. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate you, K baby. Let me do some searching. I'm a detective with this stuff. I'll find the titles on app in hours. Tops bells. No. <laughs> Like, y'all are going to be sleep secretly slipping into my DMs being like, what about this one? Is this one you? Is this yours? Did you do this one? <laughs> Negan used 100 bits. Negan! No! Drop the titles now! <laughs> I said $1,000, not 1,000 bits. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, start looking up names and dropping them in chat. We all know how to drop her. She won't hide it well. <laughs> I don't even remember what my titles are. Y'all are going to have me looking it up tonight. Good God. You wouldn't want us any other way. No, it would be too boring otherwise. Insult a tourist? Why is that something I... That's not going to get me a promotion. Fine, I will insult them. Insult. Oh my God. For real, slap me right now. Aww. They do love you, Kitsune. It's been a while. <laughs> Alright, can I hug you now to make up for that? Why is every streamer I watch? Written fanfic? Zoe Zombie! How many other streamers do you know of that have written fanfiction? It must be a type. It must be a type, you know? We're all we all have this type. Poor unfortunate souls in the perfect song for us. Oh my god. That's the important question. She seems like a white pad type of gal. Oh I don't know. I don't know. 
Let's just be real and say that. I'm not going to tell you. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. I need a thousand dollars in that PayPal right now. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look them up. Maybe I just delete them all together, you know. Um, I need to hug a tourist. Can I hug this random stranger over here? Ma'am, can I hug you? I hug you, huggies. Friendly hug. I feel like if they're like nice aliens, I'm gonna have to edit their appearance later. <laughs> Start a preposterous rumor with a civilian? Oh my god. A thousand doll hairs? No. The scratch of the head was one bad. <laughs> oh no. You know, it's. <sighs> I'm not trying to sell myself out too much, but some of these like fan fiction sites y'all are out here saying, I have no idea what they are. So pfft. maybe I'm too old, you know, maybe or, or or maybe I'm too young. Introduce yourself to Matthew Bennett. Start a preposterous rumor with a civilian. Um, start a rumor. This one, la. This one longing for the username, that one longing for titles. Do we get them? Yes, indeed. Oh my gosh. Do I have to say, as a 35 year old woman, Bella's dad is better looking than any of those guys? Oh my god, yes! For some reason, as an adult now, Charlie Swan, he's everything you could need. I have to yell at a tourist? I'm not gonna get anything done with these guys. Where's that one guy I'm, I'm fine with being mean to? I'm like trying to build myself up with this girl, this guy. I'm fine with being mean to him, so let's go ahead and yell at him. Well, the things I do for a promotion at work, you know? Dang it, no, I'm going down the steps. Oh god. Let me go hit up the black market, I gotta feed organs to sell. Oh god, me! <laughs> This one. Oh my god. We need an Ursula Tech contract for Mandy to sign. Oh my god. Yes, I'm still deep in fanfic 40 years tragic. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are all ridiculous. I'm just gonna say that. I love you all so much. You know what would be the, the, the worst part? Is if I lied about the fanfic. I'll send, I sent y'all on a wild goose chase for nothing, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Nah, I wouldn't do that to y'all. <laughs> Alright, I need to scare him. Where is the scare option? Um. I need... Where's the scare? How am I supposed to scare anybody? Who is Matthew Bennett? It says I need to introduce myself to a person named Matthew Bennett, but I don't see anybody else here. I only see the two aliens. I see no Matthew. Wait. Nope, that's Wolfgang. I don't see a Matthew. She's only saying that to get us off her trail. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, I have no shame anymore. You don't need that shame, girl. Wear that with the pride on your heart, okay? You need... Oh, there's another one down here. There he is. Let me go ahead with friendly introduction. No need to feel that, you know? Don't try to deter us from your favorite thing. <laughs> Thanks. This chat has been epic. Thank you. <laughs> you have to let us know if you find anything. Good lord. If somebody finds something, they'll be in the Discord in seconds. They'll be like, I found it! <laughs> and the worst part is, I think I've said what my old username was at one point. But those videos are probably long gone by now. <laughs> oh god, what if it's on YouTube? <laughs> but no. I feel like at one point I've said what my old usernames used to be. 
Like before they were Hayish Mandy at one point. I know we had to have talked about this. But I'm really hoping they're on nothing I've saved. <laughs> Fanfic Pride! Let's go! I used to use fanfic, fanfiction.net. <laughs> oh my god, what's he using? Does anyone know? <laughs> oh my god. Don't mind me just witnessing the chaos. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have to give him a serum? Scare a tourist? What if I can I scare him? Why can't I scare anybody? <gasps> there is a scare option. On a completely unrelated note, Amanda, what cringy usernames did you use as a kid? Oh, you know, I used Fluffy Bunny 74. I used. <laughs> no. Did that count? <gasps> Freeze a tourist? Oh, let's go. Oh, wait. I don't have that ability. Ah, oh, come on. Can I upgrade my Simray? I want to freeze a tourist. I wanna. Let me freeze. Freeze. I don't have the freeze option. <laughs> Uh, we watches all videos to find them. <laughs> we watches all the videos. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just glad TikTok and internet wasn't around when I was starting with fanfic no profile. Dude, I know. Oh my god, I could have embarrassed myself in so many ways. I still sometimes use fanfiction even <laughs> that even now. Yes. <laughs> it's an old reliable. Oh my god. You know Mandy doesn't trust you at all. <laughs> what was your pet's name as a kid? Favorite color, favorite number, and where were you born? Uh, none of those would help you. <laughs> I don't know. I think how I picked my stuff, it was so random. Is there any other upgrades I can do? When do I get the freeze one? I want to learn how to freeze people. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh! I learned another breakthrough. I don't sneeze again. <laughs> oh, not enough though. Can I invent something? Oh! Oh my god, I need to start getting some stuff. Oh! <gasps> Oh, I need to go harvest some crap. Why did I get rid of everything? Oh, that would have been so cool. I need, I, there's so many things I could make. There's so many things I could do. Dig, 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 diggity dig. Get out of here. You must. It's got to be Leah something. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, it's probably the name of one of the characters she was obsessed with along with some numbers. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Was it Leah Clearwater 1? No. <laughs> I did have a friend, though, who would use her first name and then her last name would be Cullen because she was an Edward stan. I just love that. So no, I didn't do my name and uh and a character name <laughs> like it makes it cracks me up how some people do that oh no workday's done the cutest sneeze ever bless you thank you <laughs> haven't been on 803 since i was like 12 maybe switch to tumblr oh my gosh Lana Del Rey era American Horror Story. <gasps> oh, I loved American Horror Story. The first season was so good. Second season. Oh, was that Asylum? I liked Asylum. 
Third season was like Coven. I thought Coven was good. Fourth season, was that Circus? I didn't like Circus. To me, Circus took so long to get through. Hotel, to me, was surprisingly good. When I first heard they hired Lady Gaga as an actress, I was like, oh, a celebrity as an actress? That's not going to be good. Lady Gaga was bomb. Loved her. Um, and then after Hotel, I stopped watching. Because they started, no, no, I watched, uh, I watched Roanoke. I did watch that one too. They started getting rid of my favorite characters and I just, I was just, I felt so betrayed. You know, like none of my people I really loved were in the movies anymore. And oh, I love that picture. I gotta, I gotta reorganize these pictures eventually, but yeah. Well, I'll have to remember how to freeze people later though, because I don't, um, <laughs> the Tay era was of the best. Oh my God. Many I read fanfic <laughs> while writing, you lol. I have a squirrel brain. <laughs> what? 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 No! No, no, why did you get pregnant? No! Oh my god, it better not be a whole litter. Oh no. No. Minty Fresh had a baby. Minty Fresh had a baby. I guess this can be Rosalie's cat. Okay, well, uh, what do we want to name Rosalie's kitten? <gasps> Should we name it Rosebud? Oh, that would be cute. Rosebud would be cute. I kind of like Rosebud. This sounds adorable. Is it a boy kitten or a girl kitten? It's a boy kitten. So yeah, Rosebud would be de oh, Rose Rosebud would be perfect. Please just be one kitten. Good God, be one kitten. No! Ah! Petals. Uh, this one's girl. Yeah, we'll call it petals. Petals. Pe petal, petals, petals, flower. <laughs> Karma for not giving you the titles. Please, W, please just two. Oh, thank God. Minty Fresh. Oh my God. Oh, this is so cute. Minty. Oh, she's got her tongue out for us. Oh, you mommy. Oh, she has a baby. Oh, so cute. How could you do this to me? Why? Why? <laughs> All right, so we're going to change this one over here into a um, into a red one. And then we'll leave petals be white because, you know, that's really cute. She'll just match whatever else. But, oh, look at the babies. Look at them babies. There. Look at that. We got freaking baby and baby. I can't. I can't. No. How? How, Minty Fresh? Did you go and have a freaking baby? I don't understand. I'm baffled. When did you get out? I didn't know they could have babies. The pets in The Sims. I mean, oh, yeah, they can. I knew Minty Fresh was for the streets. Can you adopt them out? Yes. But I'll let them grow up. We'll grow up with a little cat fam. We're gonna keep on a rosebud, but petals? Maybe we'll keep petals. Petals might go to somebody else. So let's take a look at petals. Oh, she's just a little white kitty. Petals, and she's got such pretty blue eyes. Oh, petals is so cute. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to spay her now. Now that I know she can have kittens, she's getting spayed. Um, and then there's Rose. Oh, there's a little bit of a difference in the ears. So Rosebud looks exactly like his mom. And Petal's ears are a little bit on, you know, more onto the side. That's so cute. All right, but let's go ahead and change Rosebud to a red cat. So let's go ahead and do that because I want him to stand out. You know, he's going to be he's going to be on the red side. But how do I make a red cat look cute? 
How do I go about this? What if I do something like this? Excuse me, is your coat color gonna change? Why is he not changing? Okay, what if I do, I've never, I don't customize cats very often, so I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, start with him being white. And maybe, I don't want it to be like just a red cat, you know, out in the world. I want it to be a subtle. Like, Minty wasn't too bad. Minty wasn't that bad off. But I need, oh god. I want it to be subtle. So I need to put, I'm going to put him all white first. And then maybe we'll do some like rose red color patterns on him. Um, like, like this. Oh God, this, I'm, I'm going to do this so bad. <gasps> like a little leopard butt. Oh, that would be cute. I got to make these a different brush rotate, brush size. I gotta make it a little smaller. Our size. I'm I'm so bad at this. Oh god, this is terrible. Precise. It it repeats on yeah, it repeats on both sides. That's nice at least. Our size make that a little bigger. Rotate a little bit more. Is there any other leopard marks that I could go with? Should I just go with just like one part of this, of the red? Or should it like be like, have a couple red spots? I would love it if his entire paint color would change. But like, it won't let that happen. I, I'd rather it that way that I could change, you know, things, but. Ugh. Do, oh, have one mark over his eye? Oh, that would be kind of cute. Okay, here, let me see. Um, how do I do it for not b both sides to pop up? I want it on the one, but it, it's got the double vision here. How do I get that off? Um... It has one eraser. I drop. Oh, here it is. I got it. Ah, no! No, he's not an orange cat. Okay, I, I did it. The red mark, put it a little down. Somebody said have a little patch over one of his eyes. Oh, God, it kind of looks like a scar almost. Should he have like a little patch over his eye? And uh, butterfly mode back on, and maybe on his feet, he's got red feet. I'm so bad at this, so I apologize to anybody who does not like what he looks like, but I am so bad at this. And maybe the back legs go up a little higher. Eh. And then on the tip of his tail. I'm so bad with the cat customization, but you know what? I want him to be a special. He's got murder mittens. Oh my god, that's adorable. I love that. Do I give him a little bit of chest fluff? That could be kind of cute. You know, he's got something on his underbelly. God, why am I so bad at this? Why are my hands so shaky? Oh wait, duh, I can have him lay down. Oh, I'm so stupid. Eh. Billy. Over here trying to do the impossible. 
It was this easy the whole time. Well, here, let me... Let me undo everything. Make the eye a heart? Too difficult for me. Uh-uh. This is so complicated. Do I give him little tips of the ears? Oh, that's kind of cute on the tips of the ears. Oh, I gotta be really careful though. Eh. I'm so focused on this. I've never customized a cat this hard. I'm trying to fix that. It's not on the front so much. There. You know, I'm, I'm gonna call him. Um, why you gotta go make things so complicated? He's a little Valentine kitty. Oh my god! I need to put like a, a butt spot, like. Right up the sides here. Oh no, I think I I feel like I deleted one of his lines. Did I delete? Yeah, I did. Oh well. Okay, uh, his little leopard spots. Bring that opacity down a little bit. Yeah, I feel like I need to put some on the top so it's a little bit more layered out or evened out here. There. Just so it's on the back a little bit more. Alright. I'm gonna call him done. If I keep going, he's gonna look really weird. Oh, he's got a white spot right there. Oops. I need to get rid of all the the, the old layers of mint. I'm gonna do that carefully here. Is all the old mint gone? I think so. Um, do his eye colors stay blue? Oh my god, the bottom of his legs. You're right. He's got- we gotta get those toe beans. There. That- um, not quite. There. The bottom of his little toe beans. Very important stuff, you know? Oh my god, I did do the tip of his tail, but it, it, it went away. Here, let me fix that. I did have the tip of his tail done. I don't know why it went away. Um, there. But yeah, I did have the tip of his tail. I must have erased it on accident. Yes, blue eyes to remember what he came from. Aww. You know what? I like him. For him being like one of my first customized cats, I think we did very good. Ah! What's that? Excuse me while I go fix something again. Why are those not done? Thank you. There. Are we freaking done yet? I keep finding spots on him that we've messed up, or well, <laughs> we've, I've messed up. I'm trying to reconcile those. All right, I'm gonna I'm call that done. He's done. Rosebud is done. He will go to him. Petals is an all white kitten, you know, cause she's just gonna go to somebody else in the future, his little sister. And his mom was minty fresh to start it all off. So there's the pets. That's how we're keeping them. We'll age Rosebud up and stuff when um, little girl becomes a teen. That's when we'll stop making them kittens. <clears throat> if he has kittens, I wonder how they'll come out. You know, that's really cute though. I do wonder how that would work out.
Oh my gosh. But you know what? That pretty much wraps up the stream at a perfect time, though. I was not expecting us to have kids. That was a, that was a shock to me. Um, I was not expecting Minty Fresh to go out and have babies. <gasps> I wonder who their daddy is. Is there a way that I can find out who the dad is? Like, who did she shack up with? Thank you. Like, who did, who did she have baby with? Like, how did that happen? Y'all are having a bit star party? I know. Now, will it stay nice and pretty before the end of stream, or is it going to be done for the night? <laughs> Minty Fresh, do you know anybody? Mint, Petals, Rosebud? Why do you know yourself, Minty Fresh? Oh, that's not, that's you. Oh, that's right. No, we can't know the gen who the baby daddy is. We won't ever know who the baby- Oh, look at little Rosebud, he's so cute! Him and Petals are adorable. Are they gonna freaking play? Oh, they're giving each other hugs! Oh, Petals, you're so cute, baby girl! Rosebud, look at him walk away. He's <laughs> so cute. Oh, and then Kitsune had to destroy it. But Kitsune, thank you so much for gifting us up to Bali, to Easy, to Jess, to Krig, and to Tren. Kitsune, good lord, you are, uh, you were the MVP over here. Look, I love you. Josie. I will say. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at these babies. They're so cute. Look at Rosebud! Oh my goodness, he's such a cute little baby! Oh my god, it's so cute. I should save right now just in case something does bad happen all of a sudden at the end of the stream. If it did, I'd cry because Rosebud is so cute! I just had no idea, I had no idea that she was pregnant! Like, ah! I heard you mentioned that your user, the user you. I used a filter on your stream labs to make your game look better. Which filter do you use asking for a friend? Negan. Are you gonna stream soon, Negan? Oh no, you make YouTube videos and, and, and stuff on that. So here, hold on. Um, I don't think there's any, any way that it would be bad for me to show this, so. Is this gonna be streamception? Oh, it's streamception. Okay, well, so this is what my platform looks like, guys. <laughs> um, so Negan. What I do is I go onto my webcam. No, is it webcam? No, it's not, it's not webcam. It is, well, webcam, it would be my filters. Okay, it's, I know it's probably really hard to follow, but you wanna go down to whatever you use for screen capture, right click it, go to property, no, go to filters, my bad. Um, edit filters, and then you have to add a filter. Usually I call it like a color correction, I pick the color correction one. And so I have one for the, the Isle and the Sims 3 and the Sims 4, but just click on that and you can move with the gamma, the contrast, the brightness, saturation, all of that. That's what changes with how my game looks. <laughs> so yes, that's what I use. It's right on Streamlabs. You just go to your capture card that you're using, right click it, hit filters and edit them. I usually have the other ones hidden when I'm not using them. And you just mess around with those settings. And that is what changes the game's appearance. Um, in the game. So there you go. No more streamception. You guys are all good. <laughs> the doubloons. That's something to do with a cat. I posted a video of Saber, and all of a sudden I just kept getting so much like Dubl he's doubloons cats comments, and I'm like, what the f he's doubloons cats. <laughs> um. You are the best, thank you. No problem, Negan. Always here to help out my people. But yeah, I use Streamlabs to record my stuff for TikTok and um, for Twitch. So edit, learning how to edit that stuff is a lot. It helps a lot. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and call things off for tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, to my freaking lovely moderators, thank you so much for the gift. I can words cannot describe how much that means to me. To I'm gonna have my own name above me and pretty lights and that to me is so stinking 
freaking cool. Thank you guys so much for that. I'm serious. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you to all my lovely moderators who gifted me that. You guys are the sweetest. I, I hope to have that ready to go, and then I'll have to change my camera setup. That way, you, it's proudly on display for you guys all the time. So, thank you guys so much. I'm going to head out because I have to go to the bathroom because you know how baby boy is at the end of these nights. And I've drank so much Gatorade and water, so i got to go or otherwise I'm going to die. But I love you guys so much. I will see you guys the next time. I love you so much. Thank you all. Thank you so much. I love you. Bye. <laughs>